And to understand the simplicity that comes with this blessing is another thing that intrigued me because I lived a very spontaneous life. I didn't know if I was going, I was coming. The phone call decided my day. The phone call decided what I was going to do for the day. Sometimes I would go to Chinese restaurants and stuff and open up a fortune cookie and really blindly base my faith on whatever was in that fortune cookie. Fortune cookie would say, you know, you're going to have a great day. And I used to have a great day, like subhanAllah, cookie was right. <laughs> now every week I'm eating Chinese food. You know, you sit down and you like, you want something to drink? Nah, just bring the cookies out. I need to find out what's going on in my life first. I don't want to drink nothing. Superstitious too. If I drink something, it might mess up my fortune. Let me just get the cookie first. Sometimes I couldn't perform unless I had, you know, like my favorite chain or my favorite watch. Panicking in the dressing room. Where's my watch? So you got to get on stage. I ain't getting on nowhere without my watch. All of this should have. I had no idea. I grew up in a house where we would fight for the Sunday paper. My grandfather, he wanted the news section. I wanted the horoscope. I needed to see what my horoscope said. Not even knowing that this same newspaper is printed all over New York City. So whoever else is born on my day got the same horoscope as me. So it wasn't nothing exclusive. It wasn't nothing significant to what was going on in my life. But that just shows you how a part of me was searching for something. I didn't know what it was, though. But I was searching for something. And the Lord guided me this long. But dig this, you was born this way. You was born in a household. Well, you probably was praying at seven years old. You know, I'd be smacking the back of the head, come on, put on. But after a while, you start doing it on your own, right? That was like training wheels to me. I, I knew about training wheels. You take the training wheels off, you ride the bike by yourself. You know? You learn how to write, recite Quran. You pray like your dad. You recite like your dad. You know, looking around the room, some of y'all might even look like your dad. And this is the beautiful thing, being born upon the truth. 